Shalom, brothers and sisters. As promised, I said I would make a vinaigrette using, this is the bottle we're putting it in, using my um, apple cider vinegar or whatever vinegars that I had available. As you know, we did do the citric one with the strawberries and I don't remember what all was in that. But anyway, we have that one. Well, we're going to use this one today in a little bit of lemon juice and lemon zest. And we're going to make a Little Cuties Apple Cider Olive Oil Vinaigrette to go with our salad for dinner today. So, in my bowl here, I have half a lemon that I have begun to zest or something else. But we're going to continue to pull a little bit of this zest off of our salad because we want that we want it to look good we want it to be pretty right you want like I said we eat with our eyes first and then our stomachs and so if it's aesthetically pleasing to your eye you can only begin to imagine what it tastes like on the surface right all right so I've gotten it in here so I'm gonna go ahead and use my lemon uh, squeeze it to squeeze out some more of that lemon juice right into the lemon zest and I have a little tree that got in here I call my seeds little trees because essentially it is what they will be as soon as I put them in soil oh come on let me grab a spoon cheap he's fighting me okay got my little tree my tree. Yay! Okay, so I'm going to just continue to squeeze as much of this lemon juice out as I can get. This little lemon has really seen better days. I've used it several times. Okay, so I have my juice of my lemon in here. I'm going to cut my zest down just a tad bit. Um, it's a little large for what I want. So I'm just going to pull it out and cut it down into strips. Uh, into little fine pieces. While I do that, I won't bore you and allow you to watch me to do all of that because that could take me a minute. But I'm just going to show you. See, I'm just going to cut them into smaller little pieces like so, so that they are small enough to be edible but large enough to be seen in our salad. So I'm going to finish these and then I'll be back. Okay, now that we have our lemons, that's set. And it's small enough, but yet large enough to still be identifiable in our salad dressing and our vinaigrette. We're going to go ahead and add it back into our bowl, just like so. While I was away, I did go ahead and I did go ahead, I did go ahead and <laughs> chop or clean two cloves of garlic. So I'm going to give it a quick little smash, and then I'm going to use my garlic press to mince the garlic right into my bowl, retrieving the minced garlic off the back of it. This portion would now go into my garden to receive more garlic, or in something that I cooked today, how about that? Nothing gets wasted. We're making it, I'm making, you know we, I'm making enchiladas and Spanish rice for dinner today, and so this and a salad. So this is going to come in right on time. I'm going to go ahead and move this out of our way because we're done with that. Well, not quite because let's go ahead and let's go ahead and add just a little bit more garnish to our vinaigrette. So this is just the end of a tomato that I had and what I'm going to do is just slightly dice this. Well, let me get a better knife because this one wants to play games. Uh, I'm going to slice this tomato real thin, real fine. Um, remember, this is just garnishing. This is not going to add very much to our uh, dressing other than eye appeal, okay? And so I'm chopping this extremely fine, and it'll probably emulsify a little later on, but you'll see it in the salad, okay? So now that we've added a little garlic, a little um, zest, we're going to move this out of out of the way while I make a mess. We're gonna go back and get a spoon and give this a quick little mix in. Okay. And now we're gonna get to the fun part. I'm gonna add a little bit of thyme 
This is also a for aesthetic. This it will lend some flavor, but it's dry time. So we want just a little bit of, um, like I said, eye appeal. I'm gonna go ahead and grind in some black pepper. It's gonna be coarsely brown. Again, this is also adding flavor as well as allowing us to keep with our eyes. A little bit of pink Himalayan salt. I'm gonna add that also in here. Okay. Now that that's done, now I'm gonna shake up my cuties vinegar that I made. And this is from the little cuties uh, oranges. And I made this uh, October 18, 2023. So that's how long I've had it, okay? So it is very well fermented by now. And we're just gonna, I maybe should add, let's go ahead and let me measure so I can give proper measurements. We're gonna add a fourth. Isn't that a beautiful sound? So we're gonna add two fourths, which is half a cup, okay? Of vinegar. And we're gonna just give a good little mix. See how beautiful it's already beginning to look? And then I'm gonna add in a cup and a half of olive oil. Well, let's start with half a cup and then I'll go from there and tell you how much more that I'm gonna add, add into this. And you just wanna, let me get a whisk. So we're just going to whisk this together like so, get it very well combined. Now once we put it into our jar, of course you would then have to shake it or percussion the bottom before using it because they it will separate and uh, you know move around on you. But that's, this is our vinaigrette for our salad. Now you can go ahead and give this a some taste to see if it has enough oil to vinegar ratio. And that's what I'm gonna do now. It's good. But let's add a little bit more. Tap it, tap it more vinegar. Just a tap bit more vinegar to this. And give a good little whisk. And I'm gonna add in some honey. And I had to break this honey down because it had crystallized in my jar if your honey crystallized don't don't stress about it don't worry about trying to uncrystallize it leave it alone that means that you absolutely have very good honey and the crystallization is a normal process from it hitting the air just warm it in a microwave or put it in put your pot uh, or either your glass jar or your honey jar into a glass double boiler and just break it up and it will go right back to its normal state but if it's crystallizing that means you absolutely have purchased good honey and don't bother it leave it alone you have the best when you need it just microwave it or double boil it to reconstitute okay now back to our dressing so I'm going to add in a little bit more salt and pepper because I didn't really taste it and we want to balance this um, dressing. You want a very well balanced dressing. And you don't want to really have it to taste so much like your um, olive oil. This had a very strong olive oil taste to me initially, which is why I added more vinegar. You can add a little bit of brown sugar to this if you like. I'm actually out. I need to remake some more. But that's not hard to do. But anyway, so this would be our vinaigrette for our salad for today. I'm going to taste this one more time before pouring it into my bottle. And this is a different spoon. Oh my goodness, yes. The, the uh, honey made the very big difference. Little brown sugar would have been better because of the maple syrup in it but it's great it's good so it did as you can see it did get a little bit creamier but that's okay like I said we over here like creamy salad dressings and we most definitely love a good vinaigrette 
and if you can you can also try and get a little bit more of your lemon into the mix just a little bit more of your lemon juice okay yeah but again I just wanted to come and show you that yeah we don't always use mayonnaise to make our salad dressing sometimes I want a little bit of a vinaigrette my house dressing mama's dressing and this is it this is our little cuties vinaigrette so now we're going to go ahead and strain this into a bottle and label it and we're done okay so let's go ahead and get this poured in Just like that, you've made your own house vinaigrette from your own vinegar that you also have made <laughs> right in your kitchen with just a few ingredients, just that quickly, and we're done. Shalom, family.